following will be from Kenneth Sullivan Guthrie's The Hymns of Zoroaster, usually called the Gathas. For a book this size, I wish he did the um, younger Avesta and such too, but uh, the main five are presented here. Hunavaiti Gatha, Hunavaiti Gatha, Yasna 28. So, verse 1. Ahya yasana manha ustanazas to rafed rahya man ye usmazda purvim spentaya asha vispeng shiautana van heus. Svratumananhu Yakshnevisha Geuschaurvanem With outstretched hands and by reverent prayer, O mindful, I will entreat as the first blessing of the Smenta menu uh, of the bountiful mentality that all my actions may be performed with the aid of justice, that I receive the understanding of good disposition, that I may satisfy the soul of the bovine. You know, bovine that would be the cattle. Creation. Verse 2. Yava emazda ura Jasai Vohumanan Hani Bio Davo Vatascha Hayacha Manan Hoi Yapta Ashaf Hacha Ya Esra Panto and this I do who entreat you, Lord mindful, through good disposition, to grant me both lives, that of the body and of the mind, with the felicity with which Mazda, through Asha, supports whom mindful gives the two lives for their comfort. And verse 3, Yavasha ufyani manascha vohu apaurvin mazdam cha urimyaebyo Shatrancha Angzan Vanem Varendaiti Armaetis Ahmoe Rathendrae Zavang Jasata. And this I do to sing hymns to you. O Ahura Mazda, through Asha, uh, through justice and good disposition as never before, and also those for whom our Metis prospers. Is our Metis love? A never decreasing realm of Chathra. Hither, O you entity, hither to my support, come to my call. Okay, I'm going to have to look up Armati, aren't I? Verse 4. Gervanem mengairevo dade hathramananha ash ischa shauthananam vedus mazdae ahurahya ya varesayeta vacha avachaye aeshe asha ya 
who with good dis who with good disposition a mind for the watch over the soul of the bovine, and who knows what compensations are rewarded the deeds of the Hur Mazda. To the utmost of my ability will I teach men to seek justice. And Oh, let's just see. Or matey. Let's. So it's sort of a verbal form of love, isn't it? Verse 5. Asha kat thwaderasana manaschavohu. Vaedam cha ahurae sevishtai serashem mazdai anamatra mazishtam varuim maidi shravstrahizva Justice, O oh, justice, when shall I through thee behold good disposition as an expert knower, discovering or attaining the throne and obedience for the most powerful, mindful, Ahura, Mazda, Ahura. Most powerful, mindful Lord. Okay. So Ahura Mazda is backwards in this order. Well, not backwards, but you know what I mean. With this mystic word, I will cause those savages to choose the great mindful Lord, Mazda Ahura. And verse 6. Oh, gedi Ashada Drangayu Ereshvais Tuktais Mazda Zarathustrai Anjangavat Rafenoah Maim Yacha Ahura Yada Imishvato Dvaishai Taurvayama. O mindful Lord, come with long life of justice, gifts with good disposition, with just utterances, and give to Zarathustra, you know, the one with the yellow camels, or the one with the ready, cute red camels that are kind of like in Afghanistan and Azerbaijan, aren't they? As the means of vigorous support to us that we may overcome the hostilities of the enemy. Verse 7. Daedi Yasha Tamashim Van Heu Seyatamananhu Daedi Turmaete Vishta Spaeshem Maim Yachada Estu Mazda Kshayachaya Vematras Revimarandai. Grant justice, this composition, this compensation, namely the felicities of good disposition. Grant love to wish of Vishtaspa and of myself, O thou greatest ruler. Grant a hearing unto him who prepares with the word. And we're all supposed to become living words, aren't we? Or at least we 
are supposed to manifest the teachings for ourselves rather than rely on someone else. Um, Vahishtem thwa vahishta yamasha vahishta haza ashen ahurem yasa vahunus naru it run han hawe this pie ya ve ven heus manan ho. For the best do I entreat the Lord. Uhura, holy, like willed with thee, for the best mana disposition, and with the best. Justice, supplicating justice for the hero Fraosh Aushtra and me, and for whomsoever thou wouldest grant justice for all the age of good disposition. Verse 9. Anais vaenoit ahura mazda shemcha yanais zaranema manascha yat vahishtem yo ive yo ivema dasene stutam yazem we would not vex you by those supplications, O Ahura Mazda, mindful Lord, the best good disposition. Because of these benefactions, rather, we would haste to offer praise. You who are the best prosper of human wishes for profit, the Kshatra realm to come. Now, after a few more verses, I will look that up, won't I? Verse 10. Adhyana shachavo ista venheus chadathang manan huerethweng mazda huraebyo perenna apanais kemmen at vexmaebya sunna vaeda rathitha va va Varaithya Vaintya Sravaya O oh, Lord mindful, crown with attainments the desire of such clever persons, as thou knowest through justice to be both worthy and of a good disposition. I know that supplicatory words reach you and are effective. So, know that you're worthy. Or work towards being worthy, not sit around, oh, hopelessness. Um, and finally, verse 11. Ya isa shem ne pa enhe manas cha bo hu ya va e ta e te tvem mas da hu ra fro ma si sha fwa mat va o chan he man ye us hat I, who am to protect justice, 
and good disposition forever. Thee, mindful Lord, to reveal to me, so that I may proclaim, that I may be to proclaim, what is the development of the first life out of thy mentality through thy mouth. Now there's been a sort of uh, counter 72 that yasnas by some satanic organization. It's interesting that for a lot of people that would be Shathra is ruler, realm, kingdom, power. Shathrin, a ruler. Okay. So that's one of the turns we have here. Thro um. Spento Pembo is more bountiful. Spitama is witening. So, how many hymns in the oh, in the Ahunagvati Gatha? There's a hole. So the thirty fourth is the last one. So let's see how many I get to today. Um, but. Let's open here. So the life of Zoroaster, in the words of his own hymns, the Gathas, according to both documents, the priestly and the personal, on parallel pages, a new discovery in higher criticism, or lower criticism, maybe. Um, translated by Kenneth Sylvan Guthrie. M. Harvard, Ph.D., Tulane, M.D., Medico, Chirurgical, Philosophy, M.A., G.D., Professor and Extensions, University of the South, Sewanee. This is the one of the greatest scriptures in the world, but has until the present translation been presently inaccessible. There is a translation by an Englishman, but it is not only more puzzling than the original, but it makes Zoroaster speak like an Anglican theologian instead of the prehistoric bard who is conducting a crusade against nomadicism. And for a cow herding civilization for a cow herding civilization. Well, nothing wrong with a cow herding civilization, is there? Besides, the acknowledged authorities on the subject do not hesitate to acknowledge openly that it is their financial interest to keep the text from the public. Anyone who desires to question this easily understood translation can purchase the author's larger book, which contains the full transliterated text, dictionary, grammar, criticism, outlines, and tables of all available kindred information. And this is the uh, larger volume, so I'm going back when I'm bit by bit, and find a sure more of it. At the end of the book, we'll find more extended notices of the following works of the same author. Um, okay, I'm going to skip that. I'm going to skip which books are for sale. Um, the Gospel of Polygonus of Tiana, which is important when considering Christianity. Um, dedicated to Elizabeth Hayes, Fracker. Friend, sister, mother, critic, helper. Um, okay. Stern Zarathustra, prophet of Iran, which is the title dearest unto thee, dispenser of a blessed eternity, our mediator between God and man, teacher of law of heavenly righteousness, helper and savior, our life healing friend, judge who condemnest to tortures without end, redeemer of the race to usefulness, yet all these titles leave me cold. The best of all is that thy heart did ever keep time and compassion for advocacy of gentle cow and unresisting sheep, whose cry to heaven reached divinity, which from all men shows thee 
as tenderest. And one of the things that I think that I should say is that if you hear these in a Vestin, it's sort of a higher level than you expect for the Vedic text. And the Vedic texts are rather moving at times in their language. Um, sort of a, a little bit elder than what we have of the written Vedic text. Um, but these go back further, at least 4,000 BC, uh, 4,000 years ago. Um, or at least uh, 3,700 years ago. Um, there's something to be said for dialects existing in rural rural communities that don't exist in other ones, but the prefix is Zoroaster is a name to conjure with, yet it is strange to say what may be considered his authentic hymns, beautiful and inspiring as they are, are but little known. The retirement of these from the public, partially due to the commendable hesitation on the part of scholars to train the hazard of translation is, however, after all, as unreasonable as would be the withdrawing from circulation of other scriptures merely because of unsettled conditions of critical problems. Hence, this popular edition, with all necessary helps, in hopes of aiding the available inspiration of the world. During the winter of 1907 to 1908, the writer was fortunate enough to have the opportunity to study the elements of the Avestan, especially in connection with some of the Gathas, under Professor A. V. W. Jackson of Columbia University, New York. The purpose of this Gathic study was chiefly a desire to grasp, with as much clearness as possible, their significance for a comparative religion. Such masterly analysis of the Mazdian doctrine as Bishop Casartelli's draw from the Mazdian sources of all periods, yielding a composite picture as inconclusive as the parallel tradition method of treating the Hebrew scriptures. The writer first attempted to establish with the distinction between the older and later Avestic elements, as has been done in the Pentateuch with the intention of confining his analysis to the older portions. Remember, the Pentateuch is the full tonic version of the Catholic Church, not what the Jews by legend has. Anybody who had even a second, uh, no matter what generation, copy or version of that would be a very wealthy person. Pursuant to this plan, Professor Jackson was very very kindly went over to the Avestan text with him, indicating a, pro, a provisional separation of the older from the newer portions. However, after a careful examination, even these older portions seemed to yield results both uncertain and unsatisfactory. It was therefore ultimately decided to limit the present analysis strictly to the Gathas, about whose age there would naturally be less question. Now, there is question about the level of purity in the transmission because there was a Magian revivification and, you know, changes in the Achaemenid period and they were, and the Parthian period and, and Alexander the Great's period basically destroyed 20 out of the 21 volumes that they had at that point, and then there's been changes that even been shown to exist in versions in as late as the 17-1800s. Let it at once be understood that this very practical interest precluded even a faint hope of any final scholarly results. Only those who have devoted most time to the Gothic excedents and lexicology are the most conscious not only of how little in this field is known definitely, but how little perhaps can or ever will be known. We are uncertain as to the precise meaning of some of the chief terms, such as, for example, those that are usually treated as spirit, righteousness, or covenant. And the result is that the more literal and attractive the translation, the less actual value it has. The frequent irreconcilable conflicts of the translation of the Spiegel 
Mills, Dermastetter, De Harles, and Bartholoma are sufficient justifications for the refusal of our Abbas scholars to make any version whatever, and yet they are only persons who could properly be trusted with so delicate a task. But obviously, we who are living at the present day cannot wait for centuries for the doubtful event of finding of solutions to riddles that are possibly or probably unsolvable. The importance of the Gathas as one of the springs of the world's religious thought will force some practical access to them. This work was inevitable and will ultimately have been done by someone else, if not by the writer. Let none therefore quarrel with this understanding. Now, I am trying to figure out the legality and permission-wise of presenting another translation, but I thought since this has transliteration that you may want to hear me say it. Uh, there are people who have memorized these things. It takes about an hour and a half to recite through the content of the book, but I would, or two and a half hours or something, I would not object, uh, you know, if this was what I had, as far as religious material, I would listen to it every day, clear through. And maybe memorizing it, say it as I go about my day. So popular a presentation, necessarily so imperfect, was naturally enough repugnant to Professor Jackson, and it was only the writer's pressing need of clear understanding of what the Gathas do teach that forced him to continue this costly work. Let it be repeated that this book is not for scholars who will want the alternate text readings which Geldner gives. It is for the average intelligent man and woman who should not be defrauded of their spiritual birthright merely because of the unsettled condition of abstruse and probably hopeless critical problems. In keeping with this, every uncertain difficulty has been cleared away. The German textbooks show the difficult of vested characters may be dispensed with, especially as in our transcript every form of each letter is accounted for, which is more than Reichelt does. Everything that could be reduced to order and ready reference has been alphabetized. Even the infinitely superior and eventual order of the alphabet has been used in Oriental works has been sacrificed, not without keen regret." Words have been indexed according to the text, and will not according to their gravitations, which are sufficiently indicated by references. All the numerous forms of the pronouns have been given alphabetically, as also occurring forms of the verb to be. It is hoped that none have been admitted, while no one can be more conscious of the writer is of the many imperfections of this work. He believes that it points the way to the kind of Gothic work which will eventually be written by some scholar fortunate enough to have his pleasure coincide with his business instead of conflicting with it as the present as writer. As with, you know, we have, you know, um, there's sort of the inside and outside information. Those who practice these things, I used to uh, perform Kunshti five times a day, and I basically, you know, there's thousands of pages that you can't, of material that you can't access by your, uh, you know, by yourself. Avesta.org is not the only source of Mazda Yesnahe, Zarathustrahe, Zarathustrish, Mazda Yesnian, Kanon Zardosht, whatever you want to call that religious uh, Parsi, uh, whatever you want to call that community. There's a, a lot of material that is available that. I've never seen in print, and some of it, if it is available in print, it's cost-restricted to get a hold of it. Um, but when you practice these things, like reciting a formula of protection, and you see a dog shaking in front of you, there's more that you pick up from it than, this dog is scared of my prayer, you know. It is self-evident that in a work involving so stupendous of a mass of details and so delicate problems of judgment, the present writer could not possibly have been avoided, have avoided all oversights or blunders. It must be sufficient for him to announce his gratitude to any who will enable him to correct any and all to this 
unstated acknowledgement of shortcomings, the writer would nevertheless add that within the very narrow limits left him for legitimate endeavor, he has done his best to be accurate and thorough. The work done was certainly painstaking and laborious. The book should, of course, have been dedicated to the pioneers of the work, Spiegel, Geldner, Dermestepter, De Harlix, Cesartelli, Bartholomew Mills, but more particularly to Professor Jackson, whose unwearied kindness and consideration deserves particularly mention. But he is too conscious of his own failings to venture to embarrass such men by connecting them with these efforts, however laborious, earnest, and conscientious. Yet, it is these qualities which embolden him to advance the critical results to which he is led. They are mostly due, not to any special cleverness of his, but to his thorough and relentless followed determination, clearly to understand his own translation, and no doubt, if he does, others will too. When the Gathas are clearly understood, the present critical results will no doubt be confirmed by their own weight. However, once more, it is the reader cautioned of the hopeless uncertainty of many, matter, uh, of many material points, yet must we do our best to cope with the situation? And the situation is that, you know, um, a lot of texts lend to both use by monotheist and polytheist, and it seems that Zarathustra was the person who was monotheist, didn't think that the professional priesthood was necessary. He wanted a spiritual path that was available to everybody. Maybe you had to spend a lot of time learning when you were a kid, but uh, not compared to some paths. Um, the writer is fully conscious that in thus making the Gathas accessible, he is only carrying out the unspoken intentions of the above master scholars who do not have the time for so much drudgery as this book is entailed. To them, therefore be attributed any credit that may accrue, for after all, without their guidance, the present work would not have been possible. And indeed, the writer would not have had the courage to continue and complete these unremitting labors if he had not sunk personal considerations into the broader realization of the ever-enduring importance of the Gathas as one of the greatest, uh, of, as one of the great scriptures of the world, which ought, must, and will be interpreted to humanity. Nor will the writer count his labors entirely lost if he had been able to add even one grain to the walls now building of the city of God. And... So there's a reason.